All right, folks, uh, so far I know you've probably got your, your, your autoresponders and everything set up. So what we got to do now, uh, what you need to do is go ahead and log into your, your Miley System Pro account. Uh, what we're going to do now is remember when we set up the MLSP autoresponder email messages, remember that earlier? So what we're going to do is be able to connect our Git response account to our Miley System Pro account. So like all these different you know, lead capture pages that you have in the back office of MLSP. That way, if anybody opts in on any of those page pages, they'll be connected to that particular campaign. What does that mean? If they opt in, they're, they're gonna get those series of messages. Remember those 16, 17 different messages that MLSP already created? Well, guess what? They'll be able to get those particular messages. So what you're gonna need to do, it's real simple. Once you log in uh, to your back office, uh, Miley System Pro, of course, I'm in the back office of mine. So what you're going to need to do is click on right where it says account. When you click on account, you want to come to right where it says my auto responder. So you want to click on my auto responder. So when you click on that, that's going to take you to this page right here. And what you want to do, you're going to see you know, a lot of different things on here. But for now, again, uh, just follow what I'm doing because I'm trying to keep this really, really simple. I just want you to follow everything that I'm doing. That way, everything will be set up for you and you can keep it moving. All right. So what we're going to need to do now uh, is, uh, and, and again, if, if you have different autoresponders, some of you might have AWeber, some of you might have GBO, whatever. Uh, you can definitely follow the instructions that are laid out. Like if you click on where it says click here to toggle instructions, this shows you how to do a lot of that integration if you have a Weber or some other different autoresponders. But for but for this presentation, we're uh, I'm actually using Git Response. So what we want to do is again from account, click on My Autoresponders. I'm just going to go back, just backtrack real quick. And, and what you want to do is scroll down here where it says Add New Autoresponder because remember we just created some, right? So what we want to do is click on that. When you click on that. That's going to bring up several things here. Let's see here. You have your autoresponder name, your autoresponder service. So what we're going to need to do here is give it a name. And again, this is right here. It says it. this is the name of your autoresponder for your reference. No one else will see this name. So again, this is just for the system of Miley System Pro. Just giving it a name so you can always you know reference back to it if you ever need to. So we're just going to call this. Um, uh, let's see, my test run. Oh, we'll just say my test messages. How about that? Okay. Uh, you know, just to make it even more clear, these are for my MLSP, you know, this is going to be for my MLSP campaign. So I'm just going to say MLSP, uh, messages, email messages. How about that? We'll do that. And again, you can call it whatever. It's pretty much up to you. But again, I'm just calling it that. Now, the next thing it's asking me to do is asking me what, what system are you using? What autoresponding service are you using that you want to integrate your autoresponder to Miley System Pro? Well, I'm going to click on that. It's going to bring up several different options here. Some of you guys probably using AWeber. Some, of course, this is a Git response tutorial. And they've got tutorials on, on the different ones, GBO, so on and so forth. But what we want to do is we want to choose Git response. So when I choose on Git response, so now it's asking me, this is your autoresponder list name that is configured in your autoresponder service. Please see the tutorials on how to find this value. So again, we're pretty much doing the tutorial here. Um, so again, I'm going to go back into my Git response account. So remember, remember you created a several different campaigns. You had one campaign that was tied to your MLSP leads. And you also had one that was tied to your primary business opportunity leads. Okay, remember that? But what we're trying to do is connect our MLSP, you know, uh, autoresponder to, to MLSP. And I'm gonna show you what that means. Again, if you're not following it, doesn't matter. Just do what I do and you'll be, you'll be fine. Pause, play, pause, play. Remember, that, that'll definitely save you a lot of time. Pause, play, pause, play. So again, what I've done, I've logged into my, my Git response account. And so if I wanna know, well, okay, well, what, what campaigns do I have again? I can't remember the name of the campaign that I created. Well, come here and actually click on this drop down and it'll show you all the campaigns that you have for your Git response account. Now, the one that was spe specific to my, um, to my MLSP email messages 
was this one right here. Remember in the in the video, if you need to go back and watch it, you definitely can. But where, right here where it says my biz leads now, that was the one that I created for my MLSP leads. Now the one that you did would definitely be different because we can't have two of the two of the same campaign names. They have to be different in the environment of Get Response. So so whatever you I don't know what you called it. So whatever you called it. I reference that and the reason why I wanted to come here and make sure is because I want to make sure that I spell this right so when I did my biz leads now for my campaign for my MLSP uh, email messages you know through get response I said it was M Y B I Z L E A D S N O W biz leads now that's it real simple right so I come here and and what I want to do is Type in my biz leads now. That's it. And so when I when I actually create that, what's going to happen is it's going to actually connect. The MLSP is going to connect with that particular campaign name. And let me show you how this works. So all I have to do now is click on Add New Autoresponder. And all I have to do now is scroll down and check. And there it is, MLSP email messages, service, get response, lead. This is the list name. Now here's, here's something funny. Now if I would have typed in something wrong, like if I didn't put you know, the S there or I missed a character or whatever, it would have gave me an error because obviously that campaign doesn't exist uh, or, you know, or maybe it does. It could be somebody else's campaign that has that name and now you got the wrong messages coming out. So always just go back into your get response account go into the campaigns that you have and make sure that you're actually typing in the right information. Does that make sense? That's all you have to do to keep it, keep it real, real, real simple. All right. So, uh, I think guys, that is it real, real simple guys in terms of integrating that, uh, actually, no, still got a few more things. Now I'm going to show you why that's important. That's what I want to do. I almost forgot. Uh, so again, we've set that up. That's all set up right now. So what I want to do, I want to show you why that's important. So if I come to my websites and remember, and we're going to be talking about a lot more about this later on in some of the other videos. And again, I'm just walking you through the process. Okay. I'm trying to make it real, real simple of what you need to do. If you're watching this video, I just want to say congratulations. Um, cause you, you've made it this far in terms of just getting everything set up. I want you guys to be set up. One thing I've seen people try to do, they try to do a lot and they're not even set up. You know, they're just spinning their wheels and they're not going anywhere. So I want to make sure that, you know, if you're, if your wheels are moving, you're actually going, you're on a journey. You're not just staying in place, right? So what, what you want to do, go back to your My Lead System Pro account. Once you, once you log back in, um, once you got everything integrated. So remember, don't go to the next step until you've completed whatever step that I just showed you. Okay. So if you got that done, let me show you, let me show you this right here. So if you go to my websites and you go, let's say for example, MLSP campaigns, I'm going to break this down a little bit more in some of the other videos, but what this section here does, it shows you a lot of the different websites that you can use in terms of getting referrals for people into my lead system pro in terms of, uh, marketing the university and mastery membership. So I'm going to show you an example. Let me show you what I just did here. So if I go to right here, it says mastery funnel generic. If I click on this, this little magnifying glass here, this page comes up. Okay. If they earn six figures plus online, they follow the, uh, this five step formula, right? And they can watch the 19 minute movie. If they want to opt in. They click lifetime access to video. When they click on that, they be able to put their name, their email and their phone number and they'll be able to get the training, so on and so forth, and you got the lead, so on and so forth. Now, let me show you why that's important. Because if I come to this, this icon right here on the right-hand side, once I click on that, it's gonna bring up this page right here. Now, you see right here it says autoresponder, uh, account default autoresponder. MLSP will have certain things automatically set up for you. Uh, but let's say for example, you wanted to create your own campaign, but remember when I click on that, see that MLSP email messages, that's the one that I just created like five minutes ago. It's already there. So all I, if I wanted to change that, I can actually put that information right there and boom, there it is. Right? So that's really why that's so important because as you 
grow in the business, you might want to make changes or create your own campaigns. That's how you can do this. Remember, the system is all about you. Okay, and how you want to be branded, how you want to be represented on, online. So that's why we did that. That's why we had to integrate that because I can actually make those changes. Now, now for example, uh, if I wanted, for example, now if you remember, let me kind of go back. I'm just going to give you a quick little tutorial of this, just really quick. If I click on, I'm in Mastery Funnel Generic. These are all different types of funnels that represent Mastery and University MSP memberships. For this one right here, so if I click on that field again, if you notice, check this out. When I click on lifetime access to video, it pulls up name, email, and phone. But let's say for example, let's say I don't want the phone number on there. For whatever reason, let's just say I didn't, you know, maybe I just don't want a lot of the other information. But if I come back to that mastery funnel generics, come over here to the right column and, and actually click on edit mastery funnel. Let's say right now it's asking for the name and the phone number, right? Okay. Um, so if I wanted to, let's say, don't ask for the phone number, I can say, no, I don't want to ask for the phone number. And I can click on update settings. And again, I'm not going to go into a lot of details on this, but I thought I'd just share this with you real quick. And I, I updated it. And now when I click on it, and you give it a second upload, lifetime access to video. Now when I click on it, it's only showing name and email. You see that? It's not even showing the phone number anymore. That's what that represents. Now I can go back and go ahead and put that back there again. So if I scroll on that and hit, or just put up, put it on default and hit update settings. Now to go back to the way that it was originally. But again, that's really why that was so important to make those, to tie that in. So you can see, you might have I know some people have multiple campaigns in their Miley System Pro account and they choose different ones for different things. So it just depends on what you want to do. And again, right now, if you're new, just do what I just did and you'll be fine. Okay. Just follow those steps that I just did. You'll be a okay. It'll be real, real simple and you'll be able to keep it moving. So that's it for this video guys. And we'll see you on the next video. Got some really cool stuff to share with you. We'll see you then.